previous video, I made a quick mention of this. I am doing one of those what's in your bag videos. You might hear a little bit of jingling. I do have, I will move the camera just a minute, down here. I have my little Pekingese puppy, Seamus. There he is. I have a little helper. He's up here. There we go. Isn't he adorable? So I'm going to try to keep him away from the tripod so it doesn't um, get all shaky. There we go. It's a little bit of my messy desk. I'm sorry. Um, so here we are. And I'm going to be doing the what's in my bag. Uh, one thing that is in my bag that I actually just pulled out because I was looking for it is this wonderful book by uh, Marie Kondo, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organization. This book is amazing. Um, so if you can get it in a hard copy, great. Get it on Kindle. Um, there's even a few videos on YouTube of her at like a TED Talk uh, discussing uh, a lot of stuff that is in here, um, and it's it's amazing. It has been helping me declutter and get rid of lots of things that I really don't need, except for my traveler's notebooks. I'm keeping all of those. My chic sparrows, my foxy dories, my real midoris. Those I'm staying, but other things can go. Um, so I'm gonna be doing the what's in my bag. So this right here, you can see this cute little logo. This logo is Fluter Scooter. A friend of mine, Andrea, is Fluter Scooter. She's a flutist who does a lot of really unique projects. Um, and she's an amazing flute player and she's all over the world. She's in Japan a lot, uh, doing a lot of teaching and stuff in New York. And she's written music that, like, you know, Snoop Dogg and um, lots of other type of musicians have actually performed and so it's it's really cool that she's a classical musician that got her training from Juilliard and you know here she's writing hip-hop and R&B and performing that type of stuff plus you know teaching flute to classical music it's wonderful so this is her messenger style bag it is the most gender neutral um it's a beautiful material it's a very thick material and you can see it has this brown leather trimming brown leather um buckles and then these beautiful brass hardware here and it is a messenger bag and it has a very nice sturdy let me shoulder strap which again has beautiful brass hardware i mean her her bags are just elegant. She designs them and there's a company that she has make them. So we're going to flip it open and you can see, if I flip it the right way, even the inside of the flap is the same beautiful material as the front. So we're going to dive right on in and as you can see I have a ton of stuff. Now the interior is this beautiful black, um, it's like a microfiber fleecy material. It's very fuzzy, but very soft. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. One of the first things is, you can see, it's a Belkin bag, and it went with one of my computer bags, and so you see cords, the cord symbol there, and so all that's in here is an iPod brick. Um, this is for our iPad brick. This is what I use for my iPad. Here's the one for my phone, which I actually have being used right now. Um, I have a couple of flash drives. This is a Lacy flash drive, and I think it's like 128 gigabyte. I mean, it's huge and it's wonderful. And then this is one from Tulsa Community College, one of the schools I teach at, which has um, a couple of Japanese textbooks on it. Um, I'm wanting to learn Japanese, and that's there. Oh, and then I also have this. It is a thumb port. Uh, it's for flute. Um, I keep it in here since I always have this with me, just so things don't get so it doesn't get lost, because there isn't room for it in my flute case. Let's see what else we have. 
a book, <laughs> a book called Zen Guitar. Um, it's a very interesting book that I wanted to take a look at, and I had it in my office at the conservatory, and I wanted to bring it home and and look at some things. I'll try to go quick so this isn't too long of a video. Um, I have right here, this is my Foxy Dory. It is my Wonderlust in Butterscotch, and it is personal size, and this has been my wallet for about the past three weeks, and it's lovely. I have this, which is my regular with extra room Wonderlust in black leather, which she now calls licorice. And this is what I use to keep track of all of the stuff for all of my students at the University of Tulsa, at um, Tulsa Community College, at the Bartomas Conservatory, and even my uh, Tulsa Suzuki flute students. So great, great, great thing. I'll save this one for last. This is, if you can see, it's um, one of those boop, puppy. No, no, get away. He's exploring the pegs. Um, this is one of those uh, Lahit uh, from Jet Pens. And let's see what we have in it. Oh, I have a, if you can see that, Bats Maru, and it's just a, an eraser. I've got some iPod earbuds, or iPhone earbuds, um, the Hobonichi Tisho tissue thing, and I've got tissues in it, some different cloths, and then this is a really cute pencil case. It is by Muji, and I have, um, again, <laughs> my favorite pen, the Muji uh, 0.5 gel ink. I've got my blue friction erasable highlighter. This is a Muji ballpoint pen, which is, if you can see, 0.7, and then I also have a Muji pencil, which is 0.5, an eraser, and a little ruler. Just a little pencil set that I can have to take with me. So that's what we have in there. I've got a lot of stuff in my bag, I just realized. Um, let's see, let's dig a little bit. Ooh. Here we are. I have actually my flute. Um, I play uh, Pal Flutes. They're an American flute company. And this is a uh, nine carat rose gold flute in here. Um, I'm not gonna bother opening it. It's a flute. You've seen it in some of my <laughs> photos that have opened other videos. So there's my flute. And what else? A handkerchief. Um, that's for me. <laughs> I have one of those mini lint rollers. Here, I'll, so you can see it. Mini lint roller. And that's um, because it's my gig bag. Uh, if I'm wearing all black, if I'm wearing my tails, uh, since you saw my little puppy, I have to make sure that all of his hair is gone. So I have that with me. Let's see. This is a wonderful flute book by James. It's about James Papatsakis and his uh, his Method of Teaching by Nina Barwell. Wonderful book. It's something new I got uh, in the spring, and so I'm, I've been carrying it around and reading it in any of my spare time. Let's see. This right here, it's hard to see. It is the Concerto for Flute and Orchestra by Otaka, something that I'm working on this year, one of the many concertos I'm going to be performing. Um, oh, this has a post-it note with a friend's address that I'm supposed to send it to. Um, but as you can see, it is the Schule Igrina Flöte by Nikolai Platonov. It is the Russian flute school, and this is the method that I used to teach at the Bartelmas Conservatory. And Seamus, you're getting way too close to the tripod. Yes, let me move him out of the way. Um, let's see, what else do we have? This book right here, Selected Studies, if you've ever done all state auditions, almost every single state uses this, and this is the one we use for flute in the state of Oklahoma, and I have to teach these etudes to many of my students and teach guest master classes, and so that's in here. So I'm looking at the etudes that they're asking for this year, and let's see what else I have. Oops, puppy got near the... 
tripod, so we'll move in. I've got my iPad, which I use. It has lots of music on it, and it's great. Music, sheet music that I read. Let's see. Oh, we got one thing left in here, and it's this beauty, which I released a video on yesterday. Ooh, it's upside down. You can see right there, it is the Foxy Fix, and it is the Portfolio. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, notebook that I'm going to be using for the schools that I teach at for carrying papers, assignments, and even some music that I need for rehearsals. So, you can see that all of this stuff, and oh, even all this over here, oh, fit in this bag. And actually you can see there's a little bit of change. Oh, and plus my flute was in there too. My flute. Here, I'll set it over there. So all of that stuff right there was in this great bag by Fluter Scooter. I just wanted to do a quick little video, I guess 11 minutes and 28 seconds is quick, just to show you what all I carry with me on a daily basis when I have rehearsals and I have to teach. So I will link below information about Fluter Scooter, information about a lot of the stuff that you saw here, and maybe post a little photo of the wee baby Seamus. Um, you can still hear him, he's scratching and his little jingle bells are going. So I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will answer it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.